Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's Mayla over here. And the funny story is I had just recorded, as you can see down at the bottom right, it says day zero, because I had just started recording and then realized that my aspect ratio got messed up from trying to record a previous game and it was... It was horrible, completely unusable. What you missed is my fangirling at some of the new features that they actually added into Stranded Deep that I was super excited and pumped about, but I'll, I'll point those out still. So let's go ahead. We're going to start a new game now. Yes, I know it's going to override, you know, day zero, but that's okay. Um, let's do a random world. Okay, that's cool. Alright. So when we first get in, we are actually going to be in the middle of a plane crash. So I might not talk through that because it's kind of loud and obnoxious. But that's cool because, you know, it's a crashing plane, whatever. And there's someone creepy standing down at the end of the hall, it looks like. And you can look around, too. Right. So we need to get to a life raft. Okay. We gotta swim out of here. So try not to drown in the process. And there's the life raft. We just swim up to it and go on about our day. So I really got into this game because I'm into the survival games like you know seven days to die is what really got me into this and I don't know I just I love this game I love it a lot you have to like actually craft a bunch of things um, like it's telling me to press C to open the crafting menu on seven days it's tab so I'm sorry I'm gonna hit tab a lot trying to get into my crafting menu um, it is not wanting to work for me right now. I guess we'll have to wait till we get onto land. But if you look around, you see there's like a smaller island. There's a bunch of different islands. A bigger island, maybe a smaller island, possibly a big island, another big island. So what you want to do is like just get to the closest island for the meantime because that's where you're going to spend your first night. And as soon as we get up here, I'll show you the crafting menu. All right, and these little crabs, you get to eat those little crabs. So cool. Okay, so hitting C to open your crafting menu, or open, sorry. Um, you do stone tools, and I love, I love the crafting aspect of this because you have to actually make lashing, which you use in pretty much everything. Uh, you make your own kindling for your fires, your stone tools you use to create knives and axes. Um, you have your spears, like your crude spear is what you can use to kill um, the crabs. And I don't know if there's other things. Like I said, I, there's there's a lot of new features added, so we'll see what else there is to eat. Your fishing spear to catch like your little fish that hang around the shoreline. Refined spears, um, hammers to build your shelters, you have fire torches, a hoe um, for gardening, your bows to shoot like birds um, for food, your spear gun is for your larger fish like your sharks, you have arrows, your spear, er or your spear gun arrow, bandages, water bottles, bricks, you have structures, furniture, um, Oh yeah, and then you can go into building um, rafts, you have different types of rafts, you have farming, so um, let's see, yeah there's other 
floors, propulsion for rafts and stuff. It's a lot of fun. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here. It wants us to create a stone tool. So the first thing I do whenever I enter in and I first hit an island is I kind of run around and pick up like sticks and rocks and tarps if there are any around, which, ooh, there's another one. So I'm going to pick up all the sticks and rocks I can find right now. And you hold shift to run, otherwise you can just walk. Yes, this is one of the new things. So now you have mineable resources. Like, I don't know what it gives you. I haven't, I haven't tried whacking away at one yet, but that is a new thing. Another new thing is you can actually cut these like trees. Like, I don't remember that being in the last time I played. Because I knew you could cut down like your palm trees that contain your coconuts, which we're going to grab some of those that are at our reach. Oh, and they added plants like with fruit. Like, I don't remember fruit. They've always had the potatoes. So the potatoes were nice, but now there's like actual fruit. But OK, so now that I have some of my sticks, I'm just going to go ahead and hit Q. I'm going to drop all my sticks. Hit tab, go into my inventory. Yeah, you have a limited inventory, so you can only carry so much, which is more realistic. So go ahead and drop some rocks. Crush the poor little crab. The coconut is really good. You can use them for water bottles. You can drink uh, the coconut milk out of it when you're thirsty, and you can also use them as water bottles. All right. So the cool thing about the crafting in this game is you don't actually have to have these in your inventory to be able to craft as long as you're near them. So to make a stone tool, I need two rocks. So there we go. Just go ahead and keep on crafting. So uh, we need a knife now. So we need lashing. We're going to take this little guy and we're just going to cut down some of these young palm trees to get our fibrous leaves because that's what we need to actually make the lashing. And that's another thing, you know, as, as I said, I love the crafting aspect in this game because you actually have to create your own lashing by using leaves and it's just, I love it so much. So since I need four fibrous leaves to make a lashing, there we go, go ahead create that lashing. So we can come back over here and make our knife. All right. I'm going to go ahead and make some more stone tools. I know I need two um, to make the axe I want to make. And I need lashing for that as well. And your weapons and um, other items like your hammers and stuff, they do have durability. Your stone tools apparently are indestructible. So, but all you have to do to see that is when it's not in your hand, sorry, hit T. And you can see like where it says crafting, it's invincible. I'm at 100% durability with my refined knife. So, all right. And to check, you hit F. Let me not look at the sun when I do this. When you hit F, you can see the time, how many days you survived, what day it is, temperature, and where the sun is by the temperature. It's like your weather forecast. So if it's cloudy, you know it's going to be cloudy. Or if it's going to rain, it'll tell you it's going to rain. Um, here is where you see like your health, your food, your water, your sleep. And they go down accordingly. So like I'm starting to get a little thirsty. But I'm going to go ahead and finish gathering all the stuff I need. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try that. You have no idea. All right. I don't know how many I have. Is there a yucca plant? Yeah, here's one. They will give you a lot of fibrous leaves versus just chopping down a little baby palm tree. All right. Collect 
everything. They kind of just scatter everywhere. But that's realistic. If you chop something up that's big, they're just going to kind of go everywhere. Now I gotta find out where I put everything. It's over here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and create our lashing to make our crude axe. And our axe we are going to use to actually chop down a tree. The only thing that I don't like um, after chopping down a tree is the stumps in the ground. You can't... Oh, coconuts. You can't really do anything with the stump. Like, I wish you could get rid of it because it sticks out of the ground and sometimes, you know, you get caught on them or... I don't know. They're just... They're annoying. I don't, I don't really like it. I wish there was a way to get rid of the stumps. Maybe they'll implement a way to get rid of them in the meantime. But we gotta chop up our trunk so that we can actually get wood. That's another thing I just love about this game. It's not like you chop down a tree and there you go, you instantly have wood pieces. You actually have to work on chopping this up, which this... Set it right over there, because we're going to need that to make a shelter later. And to pick something up, you just right click, hold right click, and then you can pick it up and move it. <sighs> it is a bit tedious, but the, again, that's why I love it. I saw two pieces go flying. Where'd they go? There's one. Oh, there it is. Okay. And then you just use Q to drop things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unload here. Clean up some of my inventory. Alright. Hit C to open the crafting menu. We are going under structures to find our campfire. And that looks like a good place. And to start the campfire, we actually need kindling. So we're going to go under tools, make some kindling. And we're going to light the campfire. So basically you just left click your mouse button a few times to get this fire started. And you can refuel the campfire, it's it's great. With your wood sticks that you have. Drop that there. And we're gonna have to kill a crab. That little guy is gonna be our dinner. He's trying to take our stick away, like, no, don't kill me. So let's go down to crude spear. And apparently this takes some skill to kill a crab. There we go. And I'm just going to drop this by my campfire. And we have to skin a crab, so use our knife. Even in death, he's trying to escape me. And to cook it, we're just going to drop it on the ground, very sanitary-like. And realistically, just set it on top of a fire where it floats. Very realistic. Once it's done, you'll hear it ding, and you know your food's ready. So we're going to use a knife. I usually use the axe, but it wants us to use a knife to cut open a coconut to drink it. And the good thing about it is you can use your knife or axe on it again and break it into edible pieces or you can leave it whole and use it as a water bottle. For purposes of just showing you, I'm going to bust this one open. And there are your pieces. They do go bad, the pieces do. Um, not super quick, but they do go bad, so only cut them open if you're gonna if you're gonna eat them because the unopened ones last a lot longer okay so those fronds right here we're gonna chop this up 
to create our shelter. You need four of them, so just one will do the trick. Okay. Under structures, you will find shelter somewhere. Oh, we need a lashing. I'm sorry, I keep hitting tab. I told you, I warned you it was gonna happen. All right, shelter. Oh, our meat's done. Pick up the meat, I'm just gonna go ahead and eat it. Still thirsty. I'm just gonna drop this here and let it roll down the hill. So the good thing about your shelter is holding E to interact with it. You can sleep here. Um, this is where you save your game. Sleeping passes time and it also refills your sleep meter, which it's 1720 right now. I usually wait till like 20, 21, 2200 before I go to sleep, um, whether I'm tired or not just so that I refresh those bars and I have quite a bit of daylight left to do what I need to do for the rest of the day. So um, I'm actually going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, this is pretty much just a what to do on day one. I promise it's not going to be, oh there's a bird. If I had a bow I could kill it. But I promise this isn't going to be like one of those tutorial this is how you play kind of things. But I just, uh, for those who don't know the game I wanted to kind of like get them into it who might want to play so they're not lost because when I first started playing I was actually a little lost on how to do certain things and I kind of just figured it out over time so hopefully it helps but um, we're gonna start adventuring new islands here soon to find one to build our permanent settlement on until then I hope you have a great day stay respectful keep it classy always and I will see you in the next one Bye-bye.